Okay. All right, you guys. On three, one, two, three. Hi. Hi. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Be, Be uplifted. uplifted. So we talked about on the last um, recording. I was about to say stream. Ha, yeah. Caught myself. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, Self awareness. <laughs> <laughs> we have some new subscribers. Oh, that's yes. right. So. Let's reintroduce ourselves. <laughs> How does it go? <clears throat> Allow me to reintroduce yes, that, myself. That, My that. name is Ho. Oh. Oh. oh, this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's start with uh let's start with Rich. Okay. Uh my name is Rich. Um I started this podcast as the tech guy. We voluntold him. Yeah. <laughs> I got voluntold to do this. Yep. We're like, He's hey, we still want the your tech opinion. The guy, the, the yeah. keyboard and everything is. Next if you've ever noticed, I never move out of this spot because this is where the control center is. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody so, else moves around but me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Good point. <laughs> That's such, such a good point. And where can they find you? Um, they can find me on YouTube. Handle, please. Rich Benares. Oh. I do a lot of reaction videos. <laughs> They're great. You should follow him. Yes. Yes. Yes, and you can find another beautiful co-host. Oh, we're talking to me. Oh God, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, hi, guys. My name is Ari. For those of you that don't know, uh, you can find me on Instagram at Makeup Lifted, or you can also find me at Mrs. Ackwright. Yes. And that's that. And this handsome, fine, muscles <laughs> man over here. What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent Vega. You can find me on Instagram. I'm Vincent Vega. Um, or you can rent the studio at the Pixel Lounge SD on Instagram. Uh, hit us up. And I just, I have a lot of cameras. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Yep. I let them make you look real good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my beautiful co-host. Go ahead, girl. Hi. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Lonnie, or also known as Lonnie Babes. You can catch me on Instagram at Lonnie Babes underscore. And that's where you can catch me. And you can catch all of us at Be, Be Uplifted. Uplifted. Yep, yes. on Instagram. Yep. You can get all the updates there. You can see all the previews of the clips, you know, all that inside stuff. And all our sponsors. Mm -hmm. yep. So follow. Yep. And so, if, if you're happy to be driving and you can't write it down or you don't have a pen and paper, all our information is actually on the description box down below. Whether you're, you're listening to this on Apple Podcast, Spotify, mm -hmm. or you're watching the video version on YouTube at Be Uplifted Podcast. Yep. All the links are available to you mm -hmm. right then and there. Thanks to this guy right here. Yes. Otherwise, we'd just be talking to you guys. <laughs> well, really quick before we get into the topic i do have a uh a request or maybe an idea for some of our listeners if you guys want to share our stuff um make a group chat and then put it put a link to our video that way you're not calling out anybody individually and you're not like sharing it you know if 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 you want to uh if you want to help us out um we do this for uh, definitely just for our entertainment purposes but then we do want to uh spread the word and everything so mm -hmm. an idea that i had was maybe if you need to call out one of your homegirls or homeboys but you don't want to call them out directly just put it in a group chat yeah yep. yeah and then add yeah. that link <laughs> there you go yeah. well actually yeah. i have a better idea um if you guys want if you guys are interested we can start a discord Oh, server yeah. specifically for be uplifted where you guys can join and we'll have different topics there that you guys can discuss and maybe one of your discussions will end up becoming a topic for our show or better yet we can bring you onto the podcast that's right that's how i got on i just, I, I just kept on commenting on the uh, live streams that that they used to do and they just eventually was like you know what just have him on actually that's true that's how like you commented on mine and then we became a thing and then he commented on ours and then we became a thing and then you we're here and so the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were like you're coming on whether you want it or not yeah. awesome it was very organic i love it yeah yes. yes and for those that have watched this podcast since the days of twitch don't worry we will be having random streams absolutely still, right? we yes. are mm -hmm. we are still th thinking about the logistics of that and right we'd like to let you guys know beforehand because we don't want to just say pop up and nobody knows yes please stay tuned for that because it's definitely something that's in the works for sure yeah and comment and message us because we read all of it yep yes, yes. yes. and we love it yeah. yeah the girls might not reply but i will 
<laughs> hey, I've been hey. replying. You better stop it. Because that little voice in my head, queer rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally how wow. you sound. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, it goes. <laughs> wow. Now we're canceled. <laughs> yeah, we're canceled because I'm Vietnamese. <laughs> I didn't say that. You said dick dong dong. So much. I am not. I don't. I don't sound like down. All right, so okay. let's let's try Moving to get uh, let's get try to get this episode in before we're actually canceled. I know. So, before they're like, okay, this is nonsense. And so close let's out. Le- yeah, let's talk about what the topic is. So. <laughs> Budget Bay. Oh, the Budget Bay. Budget Bay. Yeah. Okay. So, what is the Budget Bay? So, we were talking as a group, as we always do. By the way, if you're new, a lot of the shit that we come up to talk about is because we are actually talking about it. We're like, you know what? Let's talk about this on the podcast. So, it's all very real, you know, and organic. So, we were talking, and Vince made a good point that all dates don't have to be lavish. Yeah. So elaborate your thoughts. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that you could do that doesn't cost a lot of money. And um, mm-hmm. we just wanted to share some of the ideas and, and some of the things that we've done that, that can still be thought of as sweet and, and, and you know, boyfriend or girlfriend material type uh, stuff without actually having to be doing the whole, oh, let's go out, dinner and a movie and stuff like that. And by dinner and a movie, like a good budget thing to do, it's dinner and a movie, go down on her and record it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'm not even mad at that though. Oh, I'm like, she gets eaten out. I mean, there, there you go. Not a bad <laughs> now idea. We're canceled. <laughs> no. No. canceled by who? The right. men? <laughs> no, and okay, to um, kind of elaborate on that, I personally love. She's budget. gonna show the video. <laughs> oh no! Okay, go. Yeah. <laughs> to elaborate on that, me and my bae just did this the other day. Here's the video. In Vegas, check our OnlyFans. I know, yeah. right? Um, no, but I love this topic because. Um, more budget friendly or like you know lower budget I guess dates I love more than going on these like higher class like it's just to me it's not as much pressure Mm -hmm. yeah whether it goes wrong or great Mm -hmm. just because I feel like if I have to I feel like I just have to put on this whole different facade when yeah yeah we're on this like higher class or like really upscale kind of date Mm -hmm. not saying i don't want that of course i would want that eventually Mm -hmm. but or at times right but i prefer going on like my thing okay i'll i guess i'll start it off my favorite thing is even though i'm lactose intolerant i like going to ice cream dates to start off Ooh, Ooh, i love me an ice cream date for sure find like an old like ice cream kind of parlor with like like 50s 60s vibe (laughs) oh Oh, sally's sally's is good oh my gosh that one's good and mood time in uh coronado Mm -hmm. if you guys are in the sandy meter franks that's like super old school i don't even care if you take me to fucking um, thrifties thrifties yeah that's the best ice cream i can't eat it anymore but then uh, from what I remember that was the best ice the cream the best ice cream the yeah. fake vanilla oh my god oh yeah <laughs> I always got pistachio I'm weird like that oh pistachio was like <laughs> my, was my favorite, favorite. To give yeah. you guys oh really idea, oh my god that's to give you guys an idea of how old I am um, thrifty ice cream used to be 25 cents <laughs> dude that's like I remember it being lower than 50 cents I don't know if it was 25 cents but <laughs> yeah, it was literally definitely literally lower than 50 but so, M- Nita Frank's is good mm-hmm. and you guys can actually have dinner at 8th and Market I love that place too yep. yeah and there's all kinds of like lower priced like little shops in there. So yeah. that's a that's actually a great one right there too. And mm-hmm. eighth, and then yep. and they have Peter a pa- little patio with like a f- um. I think they have like uh the you know little patio where you can sit down and have a with nice- the little fire yep. in the exactly. thing. Yep. Or go to Seaport Village and get Cold Stone, and you can walk around. Oh, I like that day too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was my shit. So on the other end, for me, I'm super into the budget friendly. The only time that I would really want something lavish is is it is an experience. Do you know what I mean? Like going to a concert together, something like that. But like, I don't, I'm not really into like the super bougie, swanky stuff like all the time, maybe once in a blue moon. So I I definitely agree. What, what about you, Vince? What's an idea of a, so the, one of the things that sparked this idea, it, it, this is actually, uh, you know, something that's been in my mind, but um, one of the things that sparked this idea was there was a girl that I really liked. Mm-hmm. I had no idea how to ask her out. So one time I hit her up and I was just like, hey, is there any chance that you would be free between now and Thursday uh, to go have dinner? And she's like, oh, I don't know about that because, you know, it's, it's kind of late in the week. And I was like, oh, man, I really want to go by Thursday. And she's like, oh, why, why Thursday? And I said, well, I have these coupons for Arby's that <laughs> expire on Thursday. As she laughed, she pretty much, like, 
you know same reaction yeah. she's all like you know what i don't care we'll go i'll find a way to go and i was like oh cool yes so, see so, but yeah. that's because she's a vibe she's cool some yeah snobby yeah. girl would be like oh, are you really trying to take but that's me when with you a know, coupon though. Yeah. that's when you know though right i mean that's, that's what you know mm-hmm. like if i tell the girl hey you free tuesday we get, look, we're gonna go get steaks two dollar hey. steaks you know? <laughs> there you yeah. go she down if she right. down yeah. <laughs> right that, that's gonna be the test for any girl you bring into this group yeah two dollar stakes you're gonna meet the girls from the group and you're gonna see some strippers you down <laughs> are you down yeah. are you down yeah so what about what about you rich um you know i do like the the whole budget aspect of it because i think that when when you remove all the thing all the fluff and as, as lonnie said earlier you know when, when you remove the facade it just you and that person there's not Mm -hmm. a lot of distractions i think nowadays though we are so consumed in the in the instagram life Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. that that you know that we think that going out on a date requires going first going to a fancy dinner and then bottle service oh my god yeah Yeah. you know what Mm -hmm. i mean yeah but i think like what whatever happens to picnics at the park i love that yeah. shit. Yeah. that was gonna be my, my yes. cheap idea like was the, a picnic like, at the park there there's a whatever that park is in la jolla um where you know it's overlooking the city mm-hmm. just get a blanket you know you oh. could even you, you don't even have to make the the picnic oh. yourself right just yeah you can order food <laughs> yeah and just and go bring take it, it there and mm-hmm. then and then eat as you're talking to somebody yeah yeah as mm-hmm. opposed to having this whole like the hustle and bustle of finding parking, da da da. It's just so much stress, so much hassle that you forget that you're actually there to enjoy to, that person. Yeah, stuff. to enjoy yeah. that person and to communicate with them. So add to that, I think that also goes along with what we've talked about before. When you do that in the beginning, right? It's this fake facade, like you said, and you're not presenting what's going to actually be like in the relationship, right? Well, you can't yeah. live up to it, right? You can't do that every single day for the rest of your life or every weekend in a relationship that's going to be long lasting. Like, like what you said, the quiet picnic dates. If you can do that, then you can do anything together where you're just like enjoying each other's company. Company. right yeah. and okay like a date that babe if you're listening do this please because we have a costco membership <laughs> oh, i was gonna bring this up yeah go okay. talk about that i was gonna bring that up because he said that earlier but yeah yeah so like okay babe take me on a date to costco we're gonna get the samples and we're gonna okay i would want like a cheap that's a cheap date right mm-hmm. and then we pick something at costco to cook together at home so mm-hmm. it's like an appetizer and then you get the main course at yeah. home and dessert you know that's actually super cute i, I would love, love to do that because it, it's an experience mm-hmm. plus it's also a fun date but yeah. see this is also dangerous because like you shouldn't do this as a first date so i would think that oh, you would yeah. have to have an established relationship in order to do this because something do like that um going to costco you're kind of like painting a picture of the future because now uh, you're shopping pressure for the, yeah you're, you're shopping for the future you know what i mean yeah like if if you're if you're shopping for groceries that kind of um could put your significant other in this whole mentality of you know if you're not living together yet you are shopping for a future uh residence uh, together yeah. so so use that you know like uh, i would say definitely do that but then yeah make sure that you have an established relationship yeah Yeah. but i mean okay to kind of a little argue with that i still wouldn't mind it only because like damn okay he still can like that's the kind of shit he would show me like later on in the relationship too yeah but then it it is a little bit more um it's one of those things that you know in in uh I, i would say that it's a little bit more female oriented where they uh when when you get a hint of something and then they picture their life with you Mm -hmm. or i think that i think that girls um tend to be more uh susceptible to that um so like if i were to if i were to say oh i'm gonna go to home depot or i'm gonna go to target you know target is a big like thing where where if if you take a girl to target she's gonna start thinking oh this would be nice if if you had this in your place and stuff like that and they're building this whole idea of this whole you know princess like i'm gonna move in and shit like that you know so, so just take them to ikea you know you take the little tour and all oh the, that is that, i that's love the yeah. tour. Yeah. i that's, get lost in that fucking yeah. place yeah. Like, and at the bottom at the end swedish meatballs Yep. Hell yeah. yeah that's actually a really good one too yeah, <laughs> yeah ikea definitely a great like uh budget bay thing but you know what i think is a fun date i don't know if they still do this but uh me and my ex used to do this um going to model homes 
you know, and you look at like the the layout and how pretty like the house is, and he's like, so me and Anthony still do that. We like yeah. literally will drive, and he'll he'll be like, that house is really nice. That, but I think that's more of a couple thing too, though. Like, yeah, cause, I cause would. It, you're not that I think about it and say it out loud. That is more of a couple of thing because you're imagining like a life together. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But see, like there there's another budget bay thing that I did was um couples massage. I took this girl to Brookstone and we just sat in the <laughs> massage chair. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I like Yo, that. that sharper cool. image. That's sharper like image. The, yeah. the less intense version of the model house, like yeah. going and playing house. Yeah. I have a great idea for Lonnie. What? For for your next budget bay uh, date. Jason, listen up. Okay. Jason, yeah, Jason, listen up. You guys should go fishing. <laughs> and, and then, so, oh so, i forgot that was, it just clicked <laughs> you guys should go fishing and what but you know you gotta let her know you guys are going fishing yeah <laughs> and she'll be able to track you because you're right next to her yeah um but then whatever you and guys, then we go to the pharmacy right no yeah. no but what, what, whatever you guys catch fishing at the pharmacy oh uh, you cook you cook you at a bonfire or whatever and then you, you end the night right there at the shores no of, ptsd fuck that <laughs> yeah but but the whole thing is that like you know i've i've heard a lot of you know girlfriends and stuff say oh you don't take me on dates anymore it's like oh you know maybe you're just not looking at it as a date but then for me it's quality time that we're spending together yeah you know Mm -hmm. regardless if we're just if we're just walking on the beach which is a free thing to do you know Mm -hmm. but then you're one of those people that is like oh you haven't taken me to this or we don't travel or blah blah it's like yo you know like all of these little things like you have to appreciate those yeah. things too and that this, that's one of those things um if you say thank you i'll give you more reasons to say it mm-hmm. yeah okay let's rewind it a little bit though so what is considered a date though oh there you go there's a solid question Where you guys want to I, I scheduled think- time with one another yeah Yes. I mean, so, so it, something it, spontaneous can't be a date. Is that what you're saying? It could be a date. No, I mean like where you both agree on a, like, hey, I'm going to meet you in five minutes. You okay. know, like not, it doesn't necessarily have to be scheduled like ahead of time, but you're both agreeing on meeting at that time. Uh-huh. Basically. I think we still have to distinguish whether or not it's a first date or like within the, either the, date, the dating process. Because you, you can have that first date and that first date can be kind of a little bit fancy, you know, take them to like, you know, Tony Roma's or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. steakhouse, whatever, have a steak. A co- and then but like in going forward as you guys are actually dating you don't have to always shill out tons and tons of cash yeah, yeah. to to to, to to gain that to gain that attention yeah mm-hmm. like for me i'm really big on like culture experience like mm-hmm. history and all that stuff right yeah. he's into culture in, in, yeah into the culture so <laughs> the culture he likes one, it. one, <laughs> one, one like of the, like the things the people don't know or they don't remember is the getty is free oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. right Go to the Getty, walk around, and actually look at the either the murals, look at the paintings, look at mm-hmm. the 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 sculptures, and then you guys can actually look and talk and kind of educate yourself too. Okay, so what would you say to people that are not into that kind of stuff? So let's give some ideas of people that are like, but I like to like do shit, you know, like I'm more of like a a racy like fast paced person i don't like to walk around and talk um not that i'm i'm that kind of person i definitely like to do the things that you said but for any of our viewers that are more like into the faster lifestyle if you could give them some budget bay type of ideas do you guys have any like how fast how fast are we like this person like they, these people like to go like jet skiing and like things like that like go to groupon groupon has yeah. a bunch of that stuff. jet skiing is not expensive well, also yeah. too, like, like we're also associating this with dating, but remember, it's the budget bay thing. Like the thing that I keep on talking about, start a Gmail account. Don't tell them about it, but that is a bay thing to do because then when you have that Gmail account, you start sending stuff to them. They're, you're creating a timeline or a time capsule that they don't know about, and when you when you're ready in that relationship, you could give that to them, and that's something that you have for free that you really can't change or you can't you can't buy that you know what i mean even though it's free so thoughtful it's gifts yeah exactly mm-hmm. like there's like what i said before i i used to write letters to to my significant other and then I, at the end of every month i would have a letter to them and then at the end of one year what i would what i was planning on doing was um folding into uh origami all of those letters so it's like uh a, our year together and it's all felled into like a dozen roses. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And then she doesn't know, but she just thinks, oh, he does origami or whatever. That's cool. These <laughs> roses will last forever. Um, but then, like, let's say if we made it to our wedding day, I could tell her, hey, that uh, those those roses are are is our first year together, and it's a letter every month that we spent together mm -hmm. you know you could do that you can have like if you went to disneyland or I like, if you i did. like how he said every month because you can't do it every day there's yeah. a lot of letters well yeah, yeah. well i mean like uh, I at the same time if you're it. gonna do 12 months that's a perfect dozen yes you know what i mean um additionally to that like you may have those those baller bay moments where you go to to visit like um vegas or or you take a trip together you may also have oh remember that time that i surprised you for lunch and i brought you food or something like that mm -hmm. and if you took pictures of it everything is is on that timeline if you were to just send it to that uh mm -hmm. to that gmail account so you have you have everything there um a cheesy gift thing that me and one of my exes did that i thought was cute was he would say like give me sugar you know like give me a kiss uh -huh. so everywhere that we went out to eat we would steal a sugar packet and we filled like this like pretty jar with like different colored sugars that we had a like got in from different places. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah but obviously that didn't work out, so yeah. we just threw that bottle of sugar away. <laughs> but I thought it was cute, cute at the time. I yeah. was like, "Oh, that's cute," because it doesn't cost any money. But like, you look at the thing of sugar, and it's like, "Oh, a sweet little memory." You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. So you could do things like that, sentimental yeah. shit like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's there's also camping too. Oh, yeah. camping is like, a good like one. Yeah, is a good one where you just it just you, you know, off the grid. You know, if you think of the if you think that facebook is the metaverse the real metaverse is going to yellowstone it yeah. costs you five dollars to go to yellowstone yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean what a national parks dave Chappelle did it with a dollar and fifty cents in that movie half baked yeah mm. do you guys there remember you that yeah. scene where he had to he only had like three dollars left his name and he had to figure <laughs> Don't out mind if i do yeah he had to figure <laughs> out how he was going to take this girl out on a date also, yeah and he's like calculating it in his head yeah, yeah he grabbed he grabbed money from the beggar yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was like all right yeah. and then the little money stamp went up <laughs> yeah yeah and there's also that 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 spot i forget what it's called now <laughs> over by 29 palms uh i'm not sure the driving no 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 it's actually like where you can camp out i mean it's still off the grid i mean it's free there's a lot of things is it free can, it well it's five dollars oh that's super cheap yeah yeah oh interesting i didn't know that or i mean if you guys are comfortable enough to be at each other's places like you can just pop a movie and get some popcorn and some snacks and that's a fun how about date first thing. date Oh, first date? Yeah. First date. Coffee. Okay, so we did the coffee thing. We did the ice cream thing, the picnic thing. For I me, I like just going on, like, nice scenic walks. Yeah. That's just something that's... On a first date? Yeah. Well, see, on a society uh, standpoint, it, it's kind of hard to say that just because the, your, your first date is going to be with the resume, so you're trying to put your best foot forward. Mm -hmm. So it is a little bit tougher to... To have a budget bay first date, mm -hmm. although I pulled it off with Arby's, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but but yeah, it's it, it's a little bit um, it's a little bit harder, but it can be done. Do you think that um, so when do you differentiate like this is cute and budget bay on like the cute theme and man, this fool is a fucking cheap ass motherfucker, like girl or guy, whatever you know. Um, what do you think are like different signs i mean what what is your definition of cheap ass motherfucker because i mean there's you know like you can afford to i mean i guess like where they're really not even trying you know well that's the whole thing if you can do something that's nonchalant like there was uh there was a model that um that i i i guess i dated her mm -hmm. um but uh but i would you know i would say something just nonchalant like the um what are those uh the the paper lanterns that you like yeah, you light up and then yeah you light it up and then like i uh, i told her hey i'm gonna be here if you want to roll like the lantern festival yeah the lantern festival I yeah go. I've, oh, I've, i want to go to that yeah too. and that was super cheap you know like it was like uh, i i don't even remember how much it was it's but like then, 25 bucks a person or something like oh, that. yeah really? and it was it go. was it ended up being romantic i just thought that it would be cool if i took pictures there and then mm -hmm. she was all like oh i'd love to go with you i was like I meant like meet me there, but whatever. Yeah, you know, but mm -hmm. but apparently that turned into a date. Yeah, and or it was I, romantical. How cute. Yeah, it, it was, and 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 from then on, I, I was like, I was like, oh, cool, I could do fun shit with her, and it doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. because it was it like what I think you said earlier. It was uh, creating the experience. Yeah, you know, 
experience. Like, I know that other guys could have paid for something like that or whatever, but, you know, you're you're showing your creativity and your spontaneity or whatever and um, just attention to detail because after that, I knew that she liked things that light up. So I was like, hey, 4th of July is coming. <laughs> you want... You want to go watch the fireworks, you know, some yeah. shit like that. I guess to answer your question though about like a cheap motherfucker, mm -hmm. for me, okay, so I think I've said this before, but like one of my rules for a first date, especially if I, depending upon how much I know you, I'll drive to meet you. Like I'm not gonna have you pick me up, mm -hmm. but if he's like, hey, can you come pick me up? I'm like, first I'm like, okay, pick mm -hmm. you up. Oh, can you pay for this? Okay, like to me, that's a cheap motherfucker. Because he's I'm not gonna, even like he's not even trying trying. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that because for me and I know you're the same way we always offer and we genuinely mean it like we can go have these, you yeah. know, but if he's not even trying to go have these with me on the first date, it's a little bit of a turn off, you know, for sure. Yeah. Don't go on a first date if you can't afford both meals. You should know exactly where you're going and you should budget accordingly. I know not everybody's baller status, but right. also as far as, you know, as taking someone like Vince says it's a resume and you put your best foot forward. I'm not going to put somebody else's put foot forward. Right. Mm, that's so, a good way to put so that. if I take you on a date and we're going to go out, we're not popping bottles because I don't pop bottles. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not me. Yeah. Like doing that only just creates this facade, facade. that, mm -hmm. I, that I can't live up to because eventually you're going to find out that I spend most of my time editing this podcast. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So I'd, I'd rather go to a nice, casual fun place like you know like an, one of those like like a, like the corvette diner or whatever yeah mm -hmm. where there's there's still some fun stuff going on there's a good conversation there's good food then we can go out we could we can go do something else like take a walk in down you know if i'm downtown take a walk down downtown have a few so it's two dollar steaks at pacers a facade <laughs> no but because i can afford two dollar steaks <laughs> yeah. but that's like the ultimate like this is me mm -hmm. yeah. yeah you know um I really like going to drive-ins. The drive-ins was I love the drive-ins. There's so much yeah. pressure in drive-ins, though. No. Yeah, because it's like, you know, there's like the stigma, right? So I'm like, is it? So, so when you're bringing somebody to the drive-in, like for you, it's easy because you could just say yes or no and you kind of know what's going on. But for a guy to ask a girl, you want to go to a drive-in, there's a lot of things that are like- That are going through her head. I see that. Yeah. yeah. That's true. I see that, but then you just know, like, don't expect it. But he's probably like thinking like, I don't do want I to go in. Do I go out? Like, but yeah, see, I there's also there's a difference between not expecting it and 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 you know being hopeful of it. Yeah, you know, like you you have the luxury of not expecting it if you don't want it. We have the pressure of hoping yeah. for it. And is it a turn off if I said we're going to go to the drive in with all the connotations that yeah. can lead up to being at the drive in? Yeah. That. So maybe not the first date. No, no, never. Yeah, not the first date no, for that this, one. This isn't. This isn't Greece. I'm not John Travolta, <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm trying to think. Um, what about in like San Diego? Do you guys have favorite spots that you guys like? I know you said the La Jolla one and the museum. Do yeah. you have? Do you guys have any like spots that you're like? That's my go-to. Why are you laughing? I, I, I do. I, I could answer that right off the top Me of my too. head. Pacers. Yeah. No. <laughs> Aside from Pacers. By the way, thank you, Pacers, for supporting me every Tuesday night. Yeah. Um, or supporting us yep. whenever we show up. Yeah, um, definitely. Pacers. We, if we talk about them a lot, you guys, it's because there's a lot of people in that building that support us. So yeah. shout out to them. Um, yeah. Oh, what I was going to say, too, but this is important. Bali High. What about yeah, that? yeah, that ba place is dope. Bali High because he has the the, 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 the windows. Yeah, and you could sit and you could over look over, you know, where the airport is, and you. That's look not over. cheap. It, yes, it is. It's not that expensive. It's not that expensive. Yeah, but also San Diego Restaurant Week, perfect time to go on a date. Oh yeah, yes. for sure. Because mm -hmm. then you can go to Mister A's, you can go to hike the hot upper class restaurant. Yeah, and they have the Restaurant Week menu. I'm so turned off by Bali High every time someone says that because the two times, like one time I went there and this. Um, this ain't about you. No, but the, <laughs> this, the <laughs> fucking. <laughs> ew. You know what, Kuya? You're on just, a roll today. I was, just, I was just doing that for the real. I know, right? This ain't about you. <laughs> we have to have more. You can't beat my real when right? I called her a bitch. <laughs> I know. You right? can't beat that. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got to find that and create the real, actually. Yeah. I, you do. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have to make sure that I'm like. Okay. Yeah. See there, you got it. <laughs> Clip that. Clip it. Uh, there, the fucking 
waiter, this happened to me, us twice, followed us out asking for more tip, but we purposely didn't tip him because he was so fucking rude. And then uh-huh. he followed us wow. out. Yeah, we were like, we're not tipping you because you're rude, but we still gave him like a $15 tip or something like that. And he's like, this is it. I deserve more. And he followed us down the stairs, like, and everything. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Wow. Yeah, so I'm very turned off by that place now. Mm -mm. But it's beautiful. I agree with that. (laughs) I agree with that. Sorry about that. (laughs) Um, I was laughing because when I was doing my... What we talked about, whole phase. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> when I did my whole phase, my go-to spot was either Dave and Buster's or mm. Seaport Village. That's expensive. I was going to ask that. Is do you guys consider? I consider that kind of like an expensive date because it's like games and drinks. No, yeah. but you go on. I forgot. Is it Thursday or Tuesday? Oh, it was there's like a half off games. Day. Oh, okay, I didn't it's know half that. off games, and you can put maybe like I don't know. And I'm not gonna be there the whole fucking night, you know. But is that place still even popping? Or you can yes. do what I did, and I won a DJ battle there, and then just you know I got hooked up. So yeah. <laughs> or you could be cool like that. Yeah. 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 No, I like Dave and Buster's, but yeah, I, it's. When I go there, it's because it's a specific day, and I'm like, hey, you want to go to Dave Wester's because yeah. it's a half-off game? That's a fun date to me, too, like playing yeah. games and like kind of having a relaxed date like that. I think, I, that's I, think cool. I, m- I mentioned that on the on the whole singles dating. Oh, yeah, Where yeah, I yeah. said I hated going to Dave and Buster's. It's just too distracting. I just think that there's no, like, I want to communicate with somebody. But you don't want to figure out, like, your guys' like, fun chemistry? I think there is, but then, like, sometimes with, with Dave and Buster's, it's, like, it's kind of, like, remote where I have to travel after to go somewhere else. Oh, okay. You know, you know, you know what yeah. I mean. Like, yeah. like you know, when you, like when you were saying earlier with somebody with like the high drive and like the the adventurous attitude. Well, yeah. You know, you guys can go hiking, and then at the very top, you guys can have a little picnic, and then it's still like that quality time together. Jet skiing after that, you guys can have a bonfire at the beach, so it's all prepared, right? Where oh, I see what you're where saying. Where there's that, where's there, there's that, there's a there's a, like that um that that drive or whatever that adrenaline rush mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then after that you're it's like kind a calm of, it's it's the calm and then I see. we end the night that way yeah i guess <laughs> <laughs> so i still have my dead and buster wait did Hello. you say yours already my what what's mine your your yeah. uh your your go-to first go-to no you didn't i don't think i did Bali high <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's the yeah. best the best I don't know. I can't think of what, like, off the top of my head, my go-to. First I want you to go first because I think I have two that might beat all of your guys'. Oh. Probably. Probably. Go, though. I can't think off the top of my head. So my two, right? Okay. Uh, swap meet. And um, the other one was, like, uh, like uh, what are those called? Uh, farmer's market. Oh, mm, farmer's yeah. market. I like. Well, I mean, yeah. I like the swap meet a lot, so I'd be super down But I'm, I'm kind of scared, too, because that's kind of, like, you know, contradicts uh it's like the house what i was saying before is like yeah you're kind of like so yeah but um but i think that the yours was really good too because that gives you an opportunity to openly talk shit to the person that's why if i can't talk shit to you then we ain't gonna get along yeah i'm 97 to 99 ski ball champion so (laughs) (laughs) i'm not into i would have gone to like 2000 if they didn't drug test but whatever you said movies yeah I went on a date with this guy to go to the movies and someone made a point to me like, well, if you can't sit next to that person for two hours, then what makes you think you can be with them for a long time? I'm like, yeah, but what you're not f- talking, though. Exactly. Yeah. Like he got weirded out just because when we we're paying for the popcorn and whatever, the soda. And he's like, I, I gave him the cup and I was like, and you guys know, like, this is my humor. Right. Mm-hmm. So I gave him the cup and he goes, so what do you want to drink? I'm like, I don't know. Surprise me. Surprise. And then he got Sprite, and I was like, "Oh, safe choice," yeah. as like a joke. Yeah, and then was, he got, yeah. like he got pressured or something. Yeah. Well, okay, you, you but don't know his cardiac history. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> but when when you guys do the typical dinner in a movie, do you watch the movie first, or do you watch it, or do you have dinner? You first? Watch dinner? I don't tend to like to do the movie thing. I, I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever been on a movie date unless it was like an established boyfriend already. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm too old. I'm old enough that I don't have the dinner first because I will fall asleep. Well, you're not. I I think that you should. Hard (laughs) facts. I think that you shouldn't have the dinner first just because if you don't know the person, you guys can talk about the movie at dinner. So you would have the yeah. movie uh, first, and then, true. and then you sense. have. So if you have nothing to talk about, if you're not vibing and you're just looking for something to talk about, you could always talk about the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of, if anybody's watching this and they they want to go see Top Gun, go with me. We could talk about. Dude, I'm Top Gun! I heard that that was a bomb ass movie. Victor was saying you have yeah. to watch it in IMAX. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, on Friday with my work. 
Oh, how fun. Uh, in tradition of like Filipino culture, I hope that when it comes out, I will buy it on Laserdisc. Because <laughs> every Filipino had Top Gun on yep. Laserdisc. Sure did. Well, sure my did. biggest problem with Top Gun and both is that it involved the Navy, but there was no Filipinos. F you. Ah, uh, that's liars. liars. <laughs> I know, liars. <laughs> Filipinos are the Navy, basically. I know. No, they're not. Don't, don't, don't spread rumors. <laughs> <laughs> so... Do you guys, uh, when speaking of dates, do you consider a group date a first date? Oh, Ooh. wait, before you do that, I have one more. Uh, uh, Barnes & Noble. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. I like the bookstore thing. Okay, oh, sorry. Gosh. Continue. Old Town bookstores, though, like the ones in, in North Park. Oh, yeah. Those are yeah. good. Yeah, yeah those like are cool, those too. Because then you get to find the haunted books. Yeah. Oh, right. And, and some of them have little cafes. Yeah, that's yeah. what I like about it is the little cafes yeah. in them. Yeah, Amoeba. Amoeba is a good place in records. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. If we can pick the same kind of music and that can vibe. Yeah. We good. Um, sorry. So you're so saying. Group. Group dates. Okay. So sorry to pause on there. No. So earlier I said, okay, well, what do you consider a date? Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I asked that because for me, if we're going on a date, it's like you have to say it's a date or else I will consider it a date. I would consider it as like quality time. <laughs> Like hanging out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys group, agree with that? group dates are odd because, um, I might seem like an an extrovert at times, which I could be, but I'm generally more introverted. So sometimes having to compete with everybody else just it just tires me out. Like I want, yeah. you know, like like you're over here having this conversation, but I think this conversation is idiotic. <laughs> like so, I don't yeah. even want to get into the middle of that. So if someone was like, hey. Uh, Rich, I'm going to this party later. You want to come with me? Would you consider that a date? No, I was just think I would consider that like a, just like, like, a, like a, a hangout. Plus one. Like like it eventually for me a date is you and I under the moonlight. Oh, yeah. So cute. You say things sometimes that stun me because I'm like, he's the sweet one, right? And you're the one that's like, <laughs> <laughs> more logical. Yeah. yeah, more logical. So when you say these cute things, I'm like, oh. He has a heart. You know, I, I actually feel bad because of that scenario. Um, I don't know if you know this, but my last ex, the first time that I hung out with her was at your house for um for a party. Do you remember that? Yes. I and do. then I was like, I don't really know. I, I didn't know it was going to be at your guys' house. Uh -huh. So I was like, she's younger than me. So I'm thinking that she's going to have like a bunch of friends there and yeah. stuff like that. I felt oh, I bad. know, because I remember I was like, oh, what are you doing here? Yeah, <laughs> and it was funny because, like, there was hella people that I knew from the scene there. Mm -hmm. There's, like, a lot of people that I just knew, like, you know, in, in passing and, and stuff like that. And I was like, it's almost my party. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you invited me to my friend's house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's so crazy. That was your guys' first date? It was our first time spending time together. Like, one-on-one -on -one together? Like, like, we planned to arrive somewhere oh, together. Okay. Yeah. So, and yeah. I think those are good because it makes everything it's it's more comfortable and it allows you to kind of like get to know each other without necessarily pressure, pre you know, the forcing to actually get to know each other. But that's yeah. not a date, though. But right? it's not a date. Yeah. But it, it yeah. can lead up to where now we're 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 going from that whole like yeah we're kind of tipsy we're kind of talking shit to like now it's like you and I I want to know more about you specifically. Um, if you want to know more of our thoughts on that, go ahead and refer to our last episode that we uh, had. What is it called? What's that one? The toxicity? Defining the relationship. Oh, yeah. Defining yeah. the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. We talk yeah. more about that there. I think um, group or like group dates are awkward only if you guys really all know each other well. Because the only reason why I'm saying that is because I recently went on a double date with my boyfriend. And I call him his boyfriend because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's his best friend. Yeah. And me and, uh, and his boyfriend's girl um we barely just met this year mm -hmm. it's only been like a couple months and when we were on they were over here fucking watching a fucking basketball game while me and her are just like yep okay eh, i'll see you eh. well, yeah that's true so it's like kind of awkward right. you know because you well, don't know like how far to go yeah. yeah did you ever hear that theory that you should never double date like no. don't double date that. because then you're gonna be just competing with the other oh, couple yeah you mm -hmm. know Cause like, mm -hmm. I could kiss Lonnie, right? And then now no, you have, now to, have to beat me. Uncle, now you have to rich, yeah. like suck her titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, then you oh, have yeah, to suck yeah. her toes. And yeah, then it's just so like it's like, like it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that was also an episode of Friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know. It's just awkward. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't. I've never been on a double date. I don't ever. Think I, have I been on a double? Date? I don't remember. I can't think of it. Well, it's it, it's also like uh like what you were saying. If you were to do the whole group thing, what if you're all within the same group? Then you have that whole awkward thing where they know that you're talking or they know that mm. you know it's like oh mm. where are you two lovers going is like don't go in the bathrooms and together right. you know it's mm-hmm. like that's, yeah that's a good point well you yeah. know actually that makes it more more comfortable for me a group setting yeah when when somebody says oh where are you two lovers going so it's almost like now you can either now you can get the feel of what the other person is feeling too because it's like you, you didn't say it, someone else said it, exactly. but you kind of like look at her, like how's she reacting to Yeah, right exactly. Now? And it's like, I okay, see. now, okay, oh, okay, we there? We there? Okay, cool. Yeah. You know. Oh, stop. That's, so <laughs> that's, so that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good icebreaker, mm-hmm. but it's also, I feel like it's so awkward for me. Is there any first date, like, no. <laughs> you know, like, we're not ever going to take me there. Or I would never take someone there. Swingers Club. <laughs> ice skating. You I was, said ice skating. I will not go fucking ice skating again. Did you fall on your ass when you went? Yes, and it wasn't even because I was on a date. It's just I fucking hate ice skating. <laughs> what about you? Um, I would never say never, but I, I I would never go to a swingers club either. Ice skating is probably one of the one of those things I pick all the time. I think that'll be fun because you know how we trolled by on. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I played hockey. Yeah, I played hockey too, but then yeah. they don't know that. Yeah, so the so it, it's one of those where the girl has to hold your hand. Yeah, oh, and you have to kind of like guide them through. There. Okay, yeah. so it's more like you know, it's like um, what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, did the person that you did the person that you go with did they know how to ice skate? I went with my mom. Well, <laughs> why would you date your mom? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I came out of her coochie. Why not? No, but like, I just, whoa! <laughs> but but you're not. You, you shouldn't be trying to get back in. <laughs> no, no I'm trying to hide. Like, I'm trying to hide. Right? I guarantee you, if we went ice skating, you you wouldn't fall. If I went with you, yes, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Oh, and hundred percent. I, I guarantee I'll fall more than you. Yes, because I'll be doing stupid tricks and yeah. stuff. But yeah, no. Trust me, it's it's a romantic thing. So when you now as a group, we have to go ice skating, go to Vegas. What else are we doing as yeah. a group? Dating <laughs> each other. Dating <laughs> 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 your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Film an OnlyFans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But All no, you know, just do it. Like especially at uh, what's that? What's that place? UTC. No, not UTC. The outdoor one. Oh, uh, do they still do it at the Liber- mall? In, uh, Liberty. Oh no, no, no Liberty, Liberty Station. Station. Yeah. That's Liberty Station is perfect yeah. too because yeah. one, it's outside again under the. Yeah. And then there's a lot of pubs and restaurants in the area. Yeah. Yeah. I like going to Liberty Station, but not to go ice skating. Yeah. Nah, I'll pass. What 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 Wait, else? what about you, Ari? No play like let me let me think. Like I will absolutely absolutely not do that. Sex store. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd be down for that. In fact, that's a good I'm, icebreaker. Yeah, I've, I'm I've, I've, to sex store. I've taken I've <laughs> taken uh, a couple of the girls that I've dated not simultaneously. It's like <laughs> don't do that. But, but like, uh, there's been Same a couple girl. of the girls that that I've dated that um, uh, when I was DJing downtown, they're like, oh, let's uh, let's walk around for a little bit and get parking easy. And I was like, okay, cool. I always find parking in front of Hustler. Let's mm-hmm. go there. They're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. I'd probably say like something where I'm going to struggle. Like I like I want to go to the gym, but I don't want to go to the gym with you on our first date. You know oh, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Right? well, I so wouldn't like, be take self-conscious, yeah, you yeah. know, or something, probably something like that. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Mine would definitely be the beach for the first date. Yeah. Never. Why? Because it just, the, 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 the sun is there. You get fatigued. It just like, everything's like, so the know, beach during the day though. Yeah. Like sunscreen getting sticky. It's sunscreen. like, it's like, <laughs> Like sand is everywhere, it's and it's screen. just like it's too much. No, but I mean, it's like it's like you're sitting there, and it's like the, there's the sun, and it's like hot. You're so Filipino right now. Like, like oh. I don't you're like the sun. Dark, it's huh? no, it's it, really it, it, the, like the sun. The <laughs> sun, <laughs> so much sun. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you the story. I went on this first date once. <laughs> so this is where it's coming from. Okay, go ahead. With this girl, and who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> and this was like. 18 like 18 like 18 to 19 18 to 20 range right okay and i was so nervous that she asked me to put sunscreen on her right? <laughs> i don't even know what's happening 
<laughs> and I'm already laughing. <laughs> So I put the sunscreen on her the next day because we work together. She's like, oh, my God, I'm so sunburned. And all you see is the little patches. I <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Oh, my God. You were so scared to touch yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. I was like, <laughs> she was just so burnt. And it was just like little patches on my hand. I, I couldn't get full coverage because I was just like. Do I so, touch her? <laughs> Do I grope her? Exactly. Maybe she so, wanted you to grope her. That's oh, why man. she asked. I was, maybe I was just so traumatized from that. I'll never go to the beach <laughs> again. <laughs> It would, no, it's basically like, you know, it's like, like just smears. up here. But yeah. <laughs> you gave her a t-shirt, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Are yeah. you good? No. Yeah. Did you guys go on a date again after that? Yeah, we, we actually became boyfriend girlfriend for oh, nice. almost close to four years. So that's wow. a good story. Remember that time when you put the, because the sun? <laughs> just yeah. kidding. The, the sun. Yeah. That's dead. funny. Yeah, I think as long as you're just having like... Uh, as long as you guys are just having fun. If the whole intention is to have fun, you don't have to like ball out. You know what I'm saying? The, don't get me wrong. Throwing ones is fun as hell. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, as far as like doing the budget thing, as long as as long as your priority is met where you're both having a good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if she's not okay with it, then, then that's not the one. Bye. Yeah. What about, let <laughs> me with all my questions. Uh, what about, um, what do you guys think about like taking these first dates on the same date. You know how some girls are like, you took her on the same date. Like, do you guys think that that's, that's wrong? so stupid when they get mad at that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you took her her here before. Oh, yeah, I've also bought her boba before. Does that mean you never want boba yeah, again? See, okay, that's you how know? I feel. About like, boba. I've called I've called her <laughs> right. babe. Do you want me to not call you babe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. She sat on the same seat in the car. Do you want to sit in the back instead? Like. What yeah, yeah, I've taken her home before. Do you want me to make you Uber every time? <laughs> yeah, because I've literally met girls like that. Like, oh, yeah, I didn't want to ride in his car because him and his ex bought that car together. I'm like, so you walk? Like, I don't, I don't get it, you know? Like, yeah. so. Why would that conversation even come up? Like, I don't know. I would never be like, oh, yeah, I went on a date with the so-and-so here and I went and you so-and-so. Like, Pe people just like to complain. Or they see, like, well, now social media, that's when I've heard it come oh. up. Like, oh, I saw that you took so-and-so here what, that one time. It's like, Okay, first of all, you're a stalker. Second of all, yeah. and why does it matter? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm down to repeat dates. That's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I did that shit. Just because like something the experience, is a, right? Yeah. If something's a good idea with somebody else, it might be a good idea with you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And you might enjoy it more than the other person. Or I might enjoy you more than the other person. Exactly. How about During that, that yeah. experience? Yeah. Absolutely exactly. that. Yeah, I agree with that. Hundred yeah. percent. Heck yeah. I used to think Belmont Park was fun. I like Belmont Park. Like Belmont, Belmont Park, Park is cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotten cooler too. There's more stuff. It's yeah. fun. Like mm -hmm. go on rides or play I, th some I games. think the location of Belmont Park is cool because you could always rent bikes and just go up and down the coast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then eat or pick up stuff mm -hmm. along the way. I have a good budget one. If you're, um, so I, this isn't a racist comment, but <laughs> if you're Filipino and you know, if you're in San Diego and you are familiar with the Mira Mesa area on Sundays, you can always go to like a picnic or a barbecue in at the rec center and just say hi to auntie <laughs> and you'll get free food. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's you so can, true. You can actually do this yeah. and every, you can always name drop Tito boy or whatever. <laughs> you will be able to get away with that shit. You know what another good one is? Um, the ferry at Coronado, because that's free. It takes mm. you all, the, like, around the whole bay. Oh, it's okay. free? Yeah, it's free. You just wait in line, and it's usually not a very long line, and you just wait. We've Me and Akrite have done that a few times, and then you can, like, eat at the shops and then ride the ferry all the way back and walk around the other side. I yeah. think the ferry is only free on certain days. Is it? Because last time I did, I, last time I went there because I was filming a vlog, oh, I paid like $7. You're something. right. It is only certain days. But, but that's still budget. budget. Yeah, yeah. Still bu I mean, it's still hella budget. And yeah. it's a nice view. Like, it's super worth it. Okay, so what amount are we considering budget? Well, that's a good question. That also depends on like what your income. Your, your income. That's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't, de I definitely wouldn't, like, you're planning Cost on deficient. spending, if you're planning on spending a couple hours with them, it should be couple hours of your work like if i if i'm gonna go on a date with you uh, let's say that that's one hour i should be able to put in a two hours worth of salary at least you right. know mm, that's yeah. a good like yeah. ratio yeah yeah I'm, I'm you know obviously it's budget so you're looking at it so you're not looking at like a first date being like 
like instantly three hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a lot for a first date. Yeah, don't don't go anywhere where when you get the menu, you read how much it costs before what it is. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's oh, basically that's a good it. Point. Yeah, and, and yeah. as you sit there, you're like, man, I hope she just gets salad yeah. today. Yeah, you're like <laughs> butthole clenching. You're like, <laughs> you're like, so what are you getting? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You pick you pick first. So I could just get the appetizers. I know, yeah. right? I'm gonna base what I'm gonna get. Oh, uh, breadsticks are free, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Chips and dip. <laughs> yeah. How much dip would you want, Bali High Wakers? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, at a time. Yeah. A place that me and Jason always went, like a place that we went to for our first date was Applebee's because the two for 20. Hell yeah. That's oh, hell yeah. That's, that's, that's another yeah. one. Yeah. That's, that's my yeah, shit. Dude, that's that's how he knows you're a keeper. Yeah. 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 yeah if you can, you can get down with a two for 20. Fuck yeah, that's a, and it's a good two for twenty menu yeah. too. I'm like, what? This is two for twenty? Huh? Actually, like, two for thirty is you get the steaks. So yep, yeah, and you even get like the fucking appetizers yep. and shit too. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is super worth the it. The only thing we arguing about is what fucking dessert appetizer get. we get in. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Spinach dip. Yeah, yep. hello. Well, hell yeah. Always if the you, spinach. If dip. you don't pick spinach, the spinach dip. artichoke. Yep, we yeah, might, it's, we might it's be over. Done. And the yeah. dessert, the blondie. Yes, oh, it's yeah. so good. Oh, I just give it to her because I'm I have the diabetes. Yeah, that was that was honestly one of my favorite budget dates. What's, That's a good one. Yeah. What's one of your bu- favorite budget dates? Uh, you already said it. Mine is a hundred percent ice cream because, okay. like, I am not a sweets person or a desserts person. I'm uh-huh. actually more of a savory person. But the one thing that I enjoy to eat that's sweet is ice cream. But I'm always gonna get pistachio because I'm boring. So. <laughs> oh, I have an idea for for Akrite. Um which he probably won't do, but whatever. Because he doesn't watch our shit. Yeah, you fucker. <laughs> that and another statement that you made earlier outside, but it will be apparent to you what statement it is after I say this. Make her a mixtape. Yeah. Yes. That's a budget ass oh. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She will come to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've kidding. been asking for one for like 14 years now. It's all good. Damn, dog. 14 years. I'm a little. It's- a little sensitive subject guys but yeah don't make me and vince make you one but here's right. the thing like don't, they cover your ears i'm gonna talk to act right so headphones off <laughs> oh shit it fell off <laughs> bro just buy her a blank tape she has no cassette player to play i have no idea what he's saying like legit she would actually have no idea There's nothing on that tape <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That's real. Right? Okay, you're good. There you, good. Go. There you, you, go. Go. you legit couldn't hear? No, I legit couldn't yeah. hear. Yeah, good. Yeah. Was it Don't bad? watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is no, it no, bad? Gonna watch no. It. No, you no. give him bad ideas. He has enough of them. <laughs> I'll just clip it and send it to him. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, let's fuck that. It's like, I already get the pussy. I don't need to do shit. Yeah. <laughs> No, but again, it's it's more in the sentimental thing. The budget bay thing that, that we're talking about is like you don't always have to ball out, but then yeah. make sure that you're putting the same, you know, effort in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about for people like Akrite who like genuinely are, they struggle with sentiment because they're very extra logical, you know? What would be cheap ideas for that? Well, they may they they may just not know, you know, and like what have if them- they do know? <laughs> I don't watch the podcast. I know, right? Exactly. Yeah. Watch the podcast. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah, it's free to subscribe. That's budget. That part. You know what a good budget friendly date is? <laughs> Get you a fucking <laughs> like a screen somewhere, sit down, have a picnic, watch you some be uplifted. I don't know some of the shit that I say in my breakup <laughs> calls. <laughs> so like, well, that's a good test. If you oh, guys can you go. talk yeah. about our topics freely and openly, then that's a good date right there. If you get triggered. Depending on how many strikes it is. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. Comment as a Look, couple. If, <laughs> if, if, you, if you're the type that don't really know about, you know, how to approach it, just watch a lot of like, you know, um, one of those rom-coms? Romantic, r- romantic Korean dramas. Not rom-coms. Not American, but international. Cause Why? Because they, they know they, how to treat a woman? They, te- they tend to work more on the the, the, the whole aura or the sentiment of it whereas american is almost like a setup for the sex scene oh, oh yeah you know that's what i mean that's like, a good point you know, so yeah you know when you when you when you watch it for the sex you know like scene. it's a porn like i mean <laughs> like like you watch a lot of korean dramas and the in the in the guy and the girl like they have lunch at a cafe on their first date right they have coffee and then they take a walk as as the 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 what it called, as the petals fall from the tree mm. you know what i'm saying yeah so he's a closet romantic like hardcore it's super <laughs> cute can you take me and Ari out on a date i know seriously can you sure okay 
Ew, why did he hesitate? You had to really think about that. Well, because his eyes rolled back. There's two of you, so I had to think about my budget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll help put <laughs> in. I know, I'll put in too. <laughs> you just have to plan it. And pick us up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's so well, many things. We'll let Vince come, because then he can help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how much? I'm volunteering. <laughs> like, speak, speaking of, uh, what do you call that, Seaport Village, how much is a horse ride? They don't do that anymore. They don't do it anymore. What? Not? Yeah. I don't think they do No, anymore. they don't. Because the don't. horse can get COVID? I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We need to ask. But they closed. They closed. Mm-hmm. They closed because yeah. of COVID. I, I don't know if it's because of co- probably, but they don't do that anymore. But I mean, that no. that was one that we. It, I'm pretty sure that wasn't like a hundred dollars to get on a horse. And no, it was probably yeah. like eight bucks. Yeah, bucks. something like that. Yeah. yeah, just something like that. I think I'm allergic to horses. <laughs> There's also horseback riding too down by my house. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't do it at sunset because there's a lot of border patrol that think you're probably trying to cross. And oh, shit. they fly. They flash you with. You all get shot down what, on your first day. No, they, they, Is they, that they, what happens? For real? What? We. I mean, we live by each other. Yeah. Yeah. No. So oh. there's there's that park across the She's way where it's like a there's a trail. Actually, that's a good one too. There's a trail to um, Friendship Park, and you can there's actually a horse trail there, so you can rent a horse and a guide and they can go but if you do it at night then there's a lot of border patrol that actually check to make sure that you are not yeah somebody Crossing. trying to cross the border because it l- literally is like right there mm. yeah i shot a vlog there because i wanted to show off like certain parts of san diego and i was like as i was doing it i was like oh this would be a perfect place for a date oh that's nice yeah oh another thing um if you're looking for budget but then you suck at planning um, just look at what's going on in your environment, such as like uh, the bioluminescence. If you guys go to like, oh, yes. yeah, that's something true. like that, yeah. you know, if um, and there's if the there's going to be a uh, a meteor shower, you guys can do something like that. If uh, yeah, just just look <laughs> to see what. Right, watch this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know that that's one of the things. If if you run out of ideas, just cater to whatever your environment is, or like uh, Lonnie was saying before go on group one because they have those like uh mm-hmm. couples painting classes or the pottery oh that's thing. a good oh, that's, one yeah the couples painting yeah, yeah. yeah. and those are that. typically pretty uh pretty budget friendly mm-hmm. you know like They're if like you're doing that if you're doing the pottery class if you're gonna do um you know just like uh cooking lessons or something oh, like cooking lessons yeah you could do too. like the sushi but yeah groupon yes. is definitely it yeah. for budget friendly for sure yeah. oh yeah and i mean like you said too even if you just got I I just appreciate if you put a lot of thought into it. Right. Then mm-hmm. I honestly wouldn't care what the fuck we do. Yeah. yeah. As long as you put in thought and you're like, oh, I think this would be fun for her to have an experience. Mm-hmm. Then I'd be like, okay, let's go on another date. Yeah. Yeah. yeah same thing with like uh, some places that, that are maybe a little bit outside of Budget Bay, but then like a little bit more expensive. Like if you go to Buca de Pepo, um, mm-hmm. they'll give you that kitchen tour. If if it's a date or and and you, I don't know if they, I don't remember paying extra for it. But you know when they walk you to their table, they take you through the kitchen and they show you everything and stuff like that. So oh, that's you cool. know there I are know there are some ways that you can make things just like a little bit extra special without spending too much money on that. Mm-hmm. How long is this episode? I don't know, but keep going while I check. Oh okay, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't, I don't want to go over my bed. Oh, you're good. And I got to make the pee-pee again. Oh, yeah. First it was fart. Well, exact, exactly an hour. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, yeah. If you guys made it this far, uh, share, like, subscribe. Um, rent the studio. Rate. Um, please keep my feet pics off the internet yep. by uh, subscribing. Yes. But uh, keep mine and Lonnie's feet on the internet and pay us. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yes. And for all you new listeners, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to the be uplifted podcast we appreciate all your support and if you're watching this on youtube keep in mind that we are available that the, actually the audio version is available 7 a.m actually it's a little earlier now because i figured 7 a.m actually is delayed when it comes to apple music oh okay, okay. and then spotify kind of de- it's a delay distribution so i actually set it for six so that by seven it should be available on your way to, on your drive nice so you can you could listen to the audio version on your way to work and then if you totally miss us and you miss all our faces, then you could watch the uh, the video version, which is Friday at 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. on the YouTubers. Yep. So you can yes. listen to our sensual voices and then see our sexy faces after. There you go. <laughs> yes. 
I'm so dead. And yeah, and make sure you guys follow all our um, Instagrams, our, our YouTube page, anything like that to support us as well. We greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I guess on the next episode, we will see you guys. Yes. And if you guys need food, Mikey's Meals, use the Babes 10 for 10% off on your first order. Yep, um, yes. And uh, keep me fed. Because without your business, there's no more business. I know, right? <laughs> I want to feel more muscles on him. Yeah. <laughs> if I could throw Clear Rich's uh, yeah. calf up here, I'd be squeezing it too. Oh, he has more calves than a farmer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more to my body than just my calves. I know, but I have to keep it PG, so. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.